hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we will see how quickly we can get started with sitecode forms so we will create a form and uh, that form could be anything you know it could be your a newsletter a subscription uh, a newsletter form a subscription form or even a campaign form right so uh, and you know the setup is really straightforward you know uh, nothing complex over there i you know i think you know you can just uh, set up your first form you know within 5 minutes so let's uh, uh, directly get started so uh, right from sitecore 9 you know you don't have to install a separate module just like wffm and you know this forms module is available out of the box uh, the sitecore so just click on forms uh, icon here and then uh you have the section where on the right left hand side you have this create and uh, right hand side you will see if you have you know if you already have some forms created so as of now as i don't have any forms created that's why this sec uh this section is empty so let's just directly get started click on create and then you will see different templates which are available right now we just have one template that is a blank form template so just click on that and uh right so this is our canvas area and on the right hand side uh, we have design settings and performance so on the design section you see like we have further you know several sections we have uh, you know different types of elements we have basic elements where we have text file upload single line text multi line text and several other form elements then we also have some uh, lists kinds of elements like drop down list list box and others then if you go further we also have the security like where we can use password and password confirmation then we also have the structure where we have section page and submit button so this section is something you know like if you want to group your uh, elements you know specifically in a different you know in a different section you can basically make use of uh, uh the section uh, element then page uh, is another element where you know if you want to have kind of a, a multi page form then you can go for page uh, uh, you know element and then you also have the submit button you know where on click of which what action basically you want to perform so what i'm going to do is i'm just um, going to and yeah and on the right hand side you have you also have two more tabs like settings and performance and this settings tab is something you know which will be specific for each element so each element will have have you know certain settings and um, uh, elements with that and you also have this performance like how you know your uh, uh, how your form is doing within specific date range in terms of uh, page views you know abandonment uh, uh, rates and all that so <coughs> uh, let's just go to design and uh, just uh, you know create one section so this is our section and we just call this section yeah so once we click on this on the right hand side you see we have you know certain properties um, available now to add it so we have this journal where we have the field name and if you want to have a specific styling for that let's say if you want to have a specific css class defined for this section we can do that so for now i'm just going to name my field name as section 1 and click on apply and here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add few elements there so uh let me just add you know a single line text right and here if i just click on this single line text element on the right hand side again you can see we have few uh properties which we can add it like the first name is uh, the first uh, element is label where we can just mention as first name right then we also have uh, let me just give it uh, right and then if you want to have some default values placeholder text and things like that you can do and you also have some validation if you want to have uh, if you want to you know uh, uh, have some string length validator you can select it if you want to make it optional or mandatory you you again have those options plus styling is also there you know conditions are also there in on top of it if you also want to have some you know custom validations uh, applied to uh, your element that is also something which you can do and uh, you know you can create your own validations you know using uh, uh, certain out of the box uh, validations which are provided to you so uh, yeah at, at this point of time i have just uh, used this uh, for single line text element and then i've just defined it a name as first name and just click on apply once you are done and you see it here then i'm just going to add one more element single line text and i can just drop it here and i'll just call it as last name right and let's just make it as 
last name same thing you know if you want to have some default values placeholder text and validations styling also you can do if you are you know once you are done you can just click on apply and uh, you know you can also add certain uh, certain other elements like number email you know um, uh, you know and then email confirmation telephone and diff there are different kinds of fields which you can add there and if we just scroll down we also have the submit button so anyways i'm just not going to add you know other elements there so uh, let me just quickly add the submit button here right so i have the submit button and on the journal uh, tab you can again see like you know what uh, label you want to define for this button you know field name and let me just call it as submit here and your field name is again submit and then you know uh, what exactly you want to define as a navigation step either it's it's submit or you want to you know set it up to previous or next you know and things like that uh, in addition to that similarly how you know uh, you can set up your specific css class for your other types of element you can define it for your button as well uh, right now we are just leaving it is empty as is and uh, another thing uh, to note here is we have the submit action so uh, the submit actions are actions basically which you want to execute once the user clicks on this button so if you click on and uh, just for information you know um, like we have we are currently into site code 9.3 uh, so once we click on this uh, submit action uh, you know there are different submit actions which are available you know out of the box like we have save data we have redirect to page we have redirect to url trigger goal trigger outcome you know send uh, email um, campaign uh, message and like that and you know uh, uh, if you feel that you know wh whatever uh, submit actions are available it's not you know uh, uh, sufficient for your project requirement then you can also add your custom um, submit but button which will cover you know in, in our uh, you know coming um, tutorials so uh, for now you know i'm just going to select a save data so once i click on save data which means you know i want this data to be saved into my uh, you know forms database and then uh, at the same time if you want to add something else like if you want to also redirect your user to some other page after um, you know after um, the submission then you can just configure that url also here so in this case what i'm going to do is i'm just going to redirect that user straight to home page here right and then just click on ok right so you see like we we have uh, two submit actions added one is save data which uh, on click of which you, you know your information like your first name and last name gets uh, saved to your forms database and the second save action submit action is your redirect to url like uh, your data gets saved to your forms database plus you the user will also get redirected to the page which we have defined here so once you are done uh, once you're you know good with your submit actions and if you want you know if you want to re rearrange your um, you know submit actions what exactly you want to do first and then uh, if you had some preferences on that then you can also rearrange it right reorder it so for now it just save data and redirect to url and then just click on apply then the next thing uh, we have here is once you click on apply then you can just click on save and you just give your name uh, your form some name so in this case i'm just going to give it as news uh, letter and then click on save and we are good so from here if i just go back to my site course content tree and if you go quickly to content editor you see like we have this forms here like uh, previously it used to be uh, you know uh, part of your instance like uh, uh, so you have this forms and you know all your created forms will be part uh, will will get uh, added to this location so as of now we just have one form so if you expand this one we have section one which has you know first name last name and a submit button and on the submit button what different submit submit actions we are calling so we are calling a save uh, data and then we also have this redirect to url so i think we are good from here and what i will do is quickly i'll just go ahead and publish my changes quickly so once this is done let's look good and then the next thing is i'm just going to create a new page and i'll call it as uh, newsletter click on ok and i'll quickly go to presentation details final layout i'll just try to add this component 
So I'll just go to the MVC form, which is part of your rendering system. And MVC forms does define it a placeholder, which is main in this case. Click on edit, click on browse, and then you have your forms, uh, you know, displayed here, which you can select. And if you have multiple forms, you can make a selection uh, for which you know for uh, which form you want to configure it. So just click on OK okay and okay and okay once again and let's just quickly publish it wow okay this is this is not in our final workflow which is okay uh, anyways we are into our okay so we have this newsletter Wow. Okay, so we have this first name, then we have last name, and then we have a submit button, right? So let me just give it some name, first name, then we have last name, and once I click on submit, and what should happen here is based on the configuration which we have defined here. Uh, let me just quickly show you again. So our data should get saved to forms database, and we should get redirected to the uh, URL which we have defined there. That is again home page. So let me just quickly click on submit. Right, so it gets redirected and let me just quickly show you in the database also let me just quickly refresh it and if I expand the tables here uh, let me just expand the forms entries right so you see we have this table here and then if I go to my field data you see we have this you know first name and last name Ankitan Joshi here uh, so we have information in the forms uh, table as well in the form of forms data as well as form and form entries so we are good on on the first submit uh, submit action also which we have configured there right this one and then we it also gets redirected to you know the home page url which we have configured there so <clears throat> this is what you know i just wanted to cover as part of today's uh, video and in the coming videos uh, you know we will see how what different actions we can do with forms you know like uh, uh, for example how we can create a custom uh, submit action how we can create you know a custom validation and you know things like that so basically stay tuned for more on um, uh, uh, you know on things regarding uh, cycle forms thank you